Lightroom is crammed full of features and over the years we get to know them all and make use of them in our post processing workflow but it's a very large application and there are some lesser known features that you may not know about there are in fact some extremely useful shortcuts hidden in plain sight on the library tab and i'd like to introduce you to them <laughs> Well, here we are in the library module in Lightroom and the section I'm talking about is this metadata section right here. This of course contains lots of useful information about the photo that you have selected at that moment in time. But what you may not have noticed is that next to some of these, there's a little button. Each of the items in this metadata window with a little button takes you to a cool little shortcut so let's run through them all starting with the top one here next to file name and this shortcut which is pretty cool enables you to rename your file all you have to do is a click on the button and you can see you've got the regular file name convention that you'll see if you export an image so you can give it a custom name custom name with a file number etc etc and you can edit the custom name if you want to so if you quickly want to give one of your photos a more meaningful file name because you're about to export it or you're just trying to clear up your Lightroom archive then that's a cool little shortcut the next one down the list where it says file path and that's drawers it's the subfolder that I'm in at the moment and this just takes you to that location in your Windows Explorer if you're on Windows or finder if you're on a mac so if i click on this button here i am in that particular folder next button is next to cropped and i'm sure you can guess what that does it takes you very quickly to the crop selection in the develop module so you can tweak whatever crop you've got applied to the image next up in the metadata window we have this date time original stamp and if i click on this button it will show me all the photos I took on that date. So if I flick to the gallery mode, it will just show me the photos I took on that date. ISO rating, if I click that button, it will show me all the photos in my current Lightroom catalog that have ISO 800. Next up, we have a really useful little shortcut next to serial number. This button will show you all the photographs in your current Lightroom catalog that you took with the camera that has this serial number. And right beneath it, we have lens. And yep, you've guessed it. If you click on that, it will show you all the photos you took with that lens in your entire Lightroom catalog. And finally, we have the GPS section. If your camera supports GPS, as many do these days, it will store the GPS location in here. And if you click on this button, it will take you to that location on the Lightroom map and show you all the other photos you took in that location. And before we finish up, you might also have noticed at the top of this window, we've got a couple of options here, target photo, and selective photo if you want to select several photos let me call the uh, thumbnails up here like this i can then click on selective photos and rename a batch of files using the sequence option and that will do us for this little video guys that's the main shortcuts but if you go exploring in that metadata window in the library module you will find other cool little shortcuts lurking away in there that could prove extremely useful if you enjoyed this little video please do give it a like and comment down below if you'd like to see more of this content in my youtube channel until the next time guys ta-ta